Whoa. Ah, ah, ah. One, two, three, four. Right up to the line. No. no. Listen, one more push. Way past my bedtime, so you have to cooperate. You're the last one standing. That is the end, my friend. Morning, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven left to lamb. That is crazy. This has to be a record. That is fresh. Oh, you're so cute. Relax. How are you two this morning? Aww. Hi. Do you love your new mommy? She loves you. So I am going to check her for another one, but I would say, besides of that lamb, that's probably it. I forgot to tell you guys yesterday that uh, we keep moving Preg Talk's mom. Just keep moving her down with all the other girls, but we ended up pulling, so we pulled two lambs off her two days ago? No, three days ago we pulled two lambs off her. Chris had decided later that night that the one that was left with her was just way too, eating way too much. So she, she's like, I'm gonna pull that last lamb. I said, yep, go for it. And uh, I've been treating her every day since just to get her up and going. And she looks a little better, but she's still not eating well. And uh, I don't know if that's just gonna take time, but we figured pulling the lambs off might help just, you know, save the energy she needs just for herself. Hey. <laughs> Still look a little depressed. So that's the update on her. The lamb I was tubing yesterday uh, ended up tubing all day yesterday. So it's still alive this morning, but. Push. Good morning, Sunday. Good girl, Mom. I didn't think you'd have two. I also ran to get gloves because I was out. <laughs> Perfect. It's like only 11.30 and I'm already starting to think about lunch. I don't think that's going to happen. Whoa. Good 
girl. There you go. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. That is all she wrote. Hey, big little muffin. Hello. Are you my friend? Two babies. So I left the barn for, I don't know, two hours maybe, and look what happened. Well, hello! Look what we got here. One, two, three, four. Mama! Oh, rough. Hi guys, are you hungry? It's because mom was laying down. So the problem with the slamming group is uh, some of the rams got mixed up with uh, the wrong females and I don't know who was with who but in some cases I can kind of guess that Lucky was the dad. Like, How did you fit four in you? And those are a good size. Well it's lights out and uh, I guess I'm on call tonight. I hear you. You're fine. I've just been watching the cameras here and it looks like there's a, there's a suffolk down here that's awfully suspicious. So I thought I'd just come in and have one final look before I sign out for the night. I think I've learned my lesson. And before I go to bed tonight, I'm gonna check her, even just check her. If she's not close, I'll let her back out so she can do her thing. But I don't wanna come out here in the morning and pull out two backwards dead lambs, so. I do learn. <laughs> so first of all, I had the wrong you. It's actually that one, the black one looking at me here. And I got her in, I did an internal. She's, uh, there was nothing, she's not even dilated yet. So she is just, in the, she's opening up though. Like it's soft, her cervix is soft, but there was no lamb, I couldn't feel a lamb. It wasn't even enough for me to get in there. So uh, hopefully by morning, We'll have a little one, or two, or three. We're gonna find out in a few short hours. Well, I think I made the right call. However, both ewes that I was confused about last night ended up lambing. So I'm not really sure whose is whose. It's like they both love one lamb and there's three here to choose from. That's not so good. We've got one, two, three. You can't just love one. Is this yours? No, I don't like that one. Huh. So sometimes if you leave ewes alone, they actually kind of split off. And this mama was feeding this lamb after all. And then the other two were hanging around her. I think I have it right. The other thing is uh, this ewe has, her teats are quite, they're not even engorged. I think she's had enough orf damage in the past uh, that the teats are quite, um, scarred up a bit like they're fine and she's got a lot of milk but the lamb is really just drinking on the one side so i think i might take the milk machine and just milk her other side out 
just to relieve some of the pressure so the, the lamb can service both sides. The problem is uh, she's got enough milk that the lamb probably only dr has to drink off of one side. But I don't want her getting mastitis, so I'm just going to grab that milk machine. Alright, Mama. This is going to get some stuff out of you here. I think your baby looks very satisfied. Move that other side. Very good. You look very happy to see me. <laughs> That's a lot of milk coming out. This machine I've used a lot this lambing. Right up to the line. Good girl. So I won't bother with her other side just because the lamb has drank out of it. Look at that. Uh, 350 mils. That lamb looks like it's drank. Pretty sure. Uh. Well, we're getting down to the tail end of tagging, which is great. My back is thanking me right now. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure there's one, if not two, ladies that are making some noise here. So hopefully today we should uh, be real close to the end of lambing, which is, I keep saying this, but I'm pretty sure it's a record. But then Mark reminded me uh, last year, last September was really fast too, and double the amount of years. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tag. So I've been watching Lady here uh, for the last hour, hour and a half. And I'm pushing and bellering. So I'm going to just do an internal and see what's going on because there's no discharge. Yeah, she's not dilated yet. I think she's just starting. Her cervix is just starting to soften. It should be soon. Do you wanna stay in here or do you wanna go back out there? Okay. What do you think? I think I'll kick you out there. I think so. No, I you didn't give birth yet. No. Listen. No, you didn't get birth yet. My hand. Well, you got something out there. Left you for a couple hours. Yeah. You see something. What are you eating? No. Ready, ready? Oh, it's a big lamb. Yeah. So, I'm not surprised you need a little assistance. Okay, we got the legs in. And ahead. The hard work's done. Yeah. Hi, baby. You made mommy work for that. One. Yep, coming. One more push. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? I don't blame you. That's all she wrote. Just a single Pringle. A little boy. A big boy. There we go. Yeah. Excellent job. So it is the night check. It wasn't really supposed to be a night check because Carissa had night check tonight, but the lights were on. I'm like, ah, 
I could shut them off with my phone in the house, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my Nest cameras one more time. And there is a U pushing, and it was the one I've checked on two or three times today. I might assist. I just don't want to have any regrets tomorrow morning if there's something wrong. Yeah, there's nothing coming out, but she's really straining. Once you get down to these stragglers, there can sometimes be problems. I'm talking about you. Let's check you out. Okay. Way past my bedtime, so you have to cooperate. Okay, what way are you coming out? Oh, I feel quite a few sets of feet. One, two, three, four. All right. The problem with lambing is I never know how much footage I take in a day, and I always take way more than I think. And then I always run out of battery when I'm having a really good moment. And um, so I don't know where that shut off. But the first lamb coming out, I got them out, twins. So when I first put my hand in, all I could feel were legs. So four sets of legs. So I'm like, okay, she's pushing two lambs out at the same time. Somehow the first one, being this one, got her head or his, I forgot to check, completely turned like 180 degrees. So her head was, you can see where I pressed on mom's belly. That's where the head was and her feet where like her front feet were coming the right way, but the head was like this. The second one came out fairly easy, but uh, I've lost all feeling in my hand. So mom pretty much did the second one all by herself. But the first one, if I didn't interfere tonight, uh, I really think either mom would have been in massive distress in the morning. So I'm glad I just for once listened to my gut and checked. It never hurts to check. Good morning, you guys. It's uh, another week, beginning of another week. It's Monday. Are you having a baby? You're the last one standing. Hi, guys. How are you doing this morning? All dried uh -huh. off. Oh, she is. She is chit chatting. That's a good sign. Maybe today will be the last day. That would be a okay because Mark just gave me the lowdown of everything we have to do this week. And lambing isn't part of that equation, <laughs> as usual. What are you thinking today? She was hauling out. I forgot to tell you guys yesterday. Well, actually, I did, but I think my camera died. Um, ah. Our preg talks mama finally died yesterday morning. Um, it was her, the day before that was her last treatment day. She was up. Yesterday morning, we both thought she was sleeping and then when Carissa went to bed her, uh, she had passed. So anyway, that was unexpected. Like, it's not unexpected when they die, but it's really sad because we tried everything. So frustrating. Um, but her lambs, she did give all for her lambs and her lambs are doing really well on the machine, so that is, I guess, a bright side. And she gave us three lambs, which is kind of crazy. Do I put a glove on? How long have you been doing this? I might just do that, just to make sure everything's okay. She must've known I was gonna start talking about her. Uh, so I put a glove on, checked her out. Uh, feet are coming the right way, nose is coming the right way. But she's really tight. And to be quite honest, my arms are so sore from last night from delivering those two. Both her and I are gonna be hurting if I try to pull her right now. And the lamb's coming the right way, it's presenting the right way. Uh, I think she'll be able to do it, but it might just take some time. That's it. Yeah. 
bit. How's that feel? Hey? Oh, I'd be so mad at myself if I missed you. What was that? A boy. A big boy. Okay, Mom. I was afraid of that. I knew she was a bit small in the back end compared to the lamb. I'd be surprised if she has another one in there. That was a really big lamb, but we'll uh, let her be for a sec and then I'll move her into her pen and I'll check her for number two. Well guys, it is official. We are done fall lambing. Uh, indeed, she only had the one, which is not, not shocking because the lamb is quite large. She's got lots of milk. I'm gonna let baby just recover here. Chris is here in about 10 minutes and uh, I'm gonna get her to watch it. And once we get this baby cleaned off, we'll give it a bit of a drink, make sure it's off to the races. I will tag the very few that were born yesterday and we'll let out the few uh, that were born the day before. And other than that, that is the end, my friend. Beautiful. We're done. <laughs> oh, Frank, you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you just missed the last one. Oh my god. No kidding. A single or cool. two? A big single, and I almost missed it. That was exciting. That was our last tag. I usually wait 24 hours before I tag a lamb. I uh, just decided to get it done today. Tomorrow, Mark and I might uh, head down to Woodstock to a farm show. So um, if I'm alive enough by tomorrow, I'm getting kind of tired. But we are done. Uh, for Flock Watch, it's a little bit different because everything's done on my phone through an app. So it's a little bit different than the Gallagher. That was its own kind of tablet. So I would use a USB stick to, to transfer info from the Gallagher to the computer to, to uh, upload stuff into Excel so I can play around. So with the app, I'll screen record my phone as to what I had to do here. Basically, you hit uh, reports and then it says breeding reports. So I will click that. And then it says animals born on farm. I'm going to click that. And then basically all I'm going to do is put, uh, they started lambing September 2nd. So I'm just going to do September 1st. 
to September 12th, which is today. And then I'll put run. And this has emailed me this report, which I just did. So that has just come up. I'm going to look. It's looking like they sent it to me in Excel. Oh, I think I'm going to like this. Okay, let me screen record this again. Okay, here we go. What you see here is the big list of, of animals born. Probably what I'll do when I go into Excel is, I think they've got this um, in order of, new, of youngest to oldest. I will probably do oldest to youngest. Uh, so I'll probably sort by date. So anyway, the info that they're giving me is the tag, the lambing number, so how many were born. Uh, in this group. The only, my only issue is I do wonder if they add, and I feel like they don't. Okay, I think maybe they do. The ones that were stillborn. I wonder if it says undefined no tag. Hmm. Anyway, we are going to figure out how they did the stillborns because that's what I actually really want to know is uh, are that stuff. So I'm going to go on Excel for a little bit here and then I will... Uh, Get back to you guys on what I figure out. Okay, there's a few things that I'm going to put on my wish list for Flock Watch. So, for the results, I'm sure that's what everybody's here for. Out of 56 ewes that lambed, we had 122 lambs, which is more than I thought we had. Uh, so, 2.18 lambs per ewe were born. Uh, we had 13 that didn't make it. 11 of those 13 were stillborn. Uh, singles, we had 14 singles, 24 sets of twins, 9 sets of triplets, 7 sets of quads, which surprising, I didn't know that we had that many, and we had a set of quints. Yeah, so that gives me 122 lambs. So uh, after mortality, there was 109. So there's 109 lambs in this group out of 56 ewes, which is 1.95 lambs per ewe that are alive and doing well. I think... That is our fall lambing 2022. It was a fun group. It was fast. I'm tired. So every lambing group you see different things and you learn different things. Uh, being able to learn this system on a small group was, was really a blessing. Anyway, if you do have questions about this system, please put your questions in the comment section. So then Michael can read the comment section and either comment or let me know in an email. And then I can talk about it in a video if you guys want to know more about it. Um, I am the most technologically not wise person, but uh, I know good people who are. 